Hello, I'm Sarah Reimer, the Education Programs Manager here at the Bell Museum. Right now in our museum, we have an exhibit where you can see and learn all about the inside of fish, including their bones. It's pretty spooky and cool, huh? Well, we've got a book for you today that's also a little bit spooky, and it's about a fish. It is called Big L, and it's written by Andrew Clements and illustrated by Yoshi. It's also published by Simon and Schuster Books for Young Readers. Big L. In the wide blue sea, there was a very friendly fish named Big L. You would not find a nicer fish. But Big L was also very very scary. Other fish seemed to have at least one friend. Some had many, but Big L had none. He did not really blame the other fish. How could he expect little fish to trust a great big fish with eyes and skin and teeth like his? So Big L was lonely and cried big salty tears into the big salty sea. But Big L really wanted friends, so he worked at it. First, he tried wrapping himself up with seaweed. He thought it was a great disguise, but no one else did. Who wants to stop and talk to a floating plant that has big sharp teeth? thought that if he puffed himself up round, the other fish would laugh and see how clever and silly he could be. All they saw was how big he could be, and they steered clear. Very early one morning, Big L went down to the bottom, and he flopped and wriggled himself into the sand until he was almost covered up. He looked much smaller. When the other fish came near, Big L talked and joked with them, and they had a delightful time. But then one scratchy little grain of sand got stuck in his gills, and he, and he, he, and he, he sne and he sneezed. When the cloud of sand cleared away, all the other fish were gone. Big Al even changed his color one day so he could look like he belonged to a school of tiny fish passing by. He bubbled along with them for a while, laughing and feeling like he was just one of the crowd. But he was so big and clumsy that when all the tiny fish darted to the left and then quickly back to the right, Big Al just plowed straight ahead. He went bumping and thumping right into the little fish. Before he could even say, excuse me, they were gone, and he was all alone again, sadder than ever. Just when Big Al started to be sure that he would never have a single friend, something happened. He was floating along, sadly watching some of the smaller fish and was wishing they would come closer. As he watched, a net drops down silently from above, and in an instant, they were caught. But Big L forgot all about being lonely. He forgot all about being sad. His eyes bulged out bigger and rounder than ever, and with a mighty flip of his tail, he opened his mouth and ch charged straight at that net. The net was strong, but Big L was stronger. He ripped right through it and all the little fish rush, rushed out through the hole. But when Big L tried to turn around and go out of the hole, he got all tangled up in the net. He was stuck. The net went higher and higher toward the bright surface of the sea and the little fish watched Big L as he disappeared above them. When the little fish were able to speak again, 
All they talked about was the huge, wonderful fish that had saved them. How great to be free, but what a shame that the big fellow had been captured. Just then, there was a tremendous crashing splash above them, and the small fish dashed away. Was it the net again? Not at all. It was Big L. Those fishermen took one look at him and threw him right back into the ocean. And now there's one huge, puffy, scary, fierce looking fish in the sea who has more friends than anyone else. Big L. Yay. And here he is with all of his fishy friends. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that story. Thanks for joining us today.